Hi. We're going to do a pour. And I kind of messed up already because I mixed um, some blue with uh, GAC 800 and some white to make it easier to pour. And I used a little bit of Krylon spray paint and it ate right through my cup and started to drip everywhere. So I went ahead and poured the blue out. And um, now I've already mixed up my colors. I've got white. Let me see if I can get some light on the subject. Some white. I've put mica in all of these colors. I've also put a little bit of silicone and um, just regular artist house paint. This is um, Delta. Ceram decor. I guess it's for ceramics actually, but it's just some paint that I had already. So we're going to use this and I'm going to pour the white out on the blue because I had to pretty much get rid of the blue right quick because it was melting. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with the melty cup version <laughs> since it might just be the kind of thing where. I get a mixture of styrofoam in my paint. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. But anyway, it should be fun. <laughs> I think that uh, I'm pouring this also on glass. This is glass in a frame. I've taped off the edges. And um, I'm just trying to give it something so it'll flow out a little bit. But I was really kind of disappointed in my Krylon. I've seen people use the sprays before but I guess I just didn't realize that in the styrofoam cup it was just going to eat away at my cup matter and that would be the end of that <laughs> so anyway here we go and I'm out of gloves so this should be cute <laughs> it was just interesting I had I wasn't really expecting all that trauma drama right off the bat. I mean, I, I, I've been known to make mud before, but hey, even mud can be fun. Because, you know, usually you can let the mud dry and then go right over top of it with something else. It's not really that big of a deal. Obviously, I don't have enough white here, so we're going to squirt some on just right out of my tube. This is not um, Liquitex. This is actual white paint that I've just put in this bottle because it's um easier to pour. I've got a five gallon bucket so I just stick it in here and it makes it more manageable. I'm not having to fight with the bucket all the time which is a chore in itself sometimes but something weird is going on with this little styrofoam mess though because I can feel this sticky it almost feels like a glue texture. I probably should have just thrown it away, but my first instinct was to just pour it. So, and I will be going back over this if it turns out or it doesn't completely horrible. I'll go over it with some epoxy later. Okay, so let's see if we can make that smoothed out a little bit. We'll tilt it around and see if we can uh, it's just got this weird looking, a very weird looking texture. It's almost gluey, so I think that my styrofoam might have some issues with this. Uh, it's not really running as good as I thought it would be, but I'm going to paint this frame, so I really don't care if it gets on there. I was just trying to keep it from going around back. But it does have a very weird texture to it, like a, almost like a glue. So, I don't know what styrofoam is made out of. I'm sure they put some kind of adhesive in it, but it's got a very um, lumpy, weird, this is going to be a weird, weird painting, I'm sure. If it would cover, that'd be great. Sticking on here a little bit. Cap it out. I hate to 
using my fingers, but I've always got, you know, when you're a painter, you always, when you do the art, you always have paint on you. I'm, I'm admired by these people that can do art and never get any on them. I'm just a total mess whenever I do it, which is, you know, half the fun. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing all the time, I guess. <laughs> all right, now we're going to do some yellow. Like I said, all these cups have, um, I'm sorry about the lighting. Let me see if I can move it up a little bit. All these cups have, um, I think it's called Black Diamond. And I'm, let me see if that, you know, it's got Black Diamond pigment powder. The, the, um, it's got some iridescent looking sparkles. So, anyway, here we go with the yellow. Well, you know what? I might do an actual pour and flip cup and see if we can get something to come out of here. It kind of worries me that um, this is a little sticky like it is. I don't know that it's going to flow all that great. I do see some blue coming out, but... Down. I don't have the blue. Let's do. I'm gonna put the yellow in and then the green. And this is like a hunter green with the green pigment mic as I'm pouring on the side of the cup. Because normally I pour from the top and it I think it tends to get too mixed sometimes. So then we have this really orangey orange. Of course, it's kind of faded out a little bit now, but I don't know if you can see it good or not. It's almost like a tangerine, but I'm going to go right on the side of the cup here and let it pour in. I think I'm going to turn these cups upside down on the painting just so I don't waste any paint. And last but not least, we have a um, violet, a little light lavender. And this also has the pigments in it. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know, people. This might be a trip. All right, here we go. And we're going to swirl it around. It's really, uh, it's kind of pretty. I don't know really what's going to happen. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that white underneath because it's such a weird texture. It's gooey like glue. Which is just strange. I just, well, I just never thought about the chemicals in the spray paint dissolving <laughs> in my paint. So that was kind of fun. So I am going to tilt this. I'm going to tilt it around a little bit and see what we get here. Yeah, it's got a very lumpy, weird texture to it. So I don't know about this one. Not sure I like all that green, but maybe with the silicon in it, it'll um, do something interesting. I don't know. But I was just very trippy about the whole, <laughs> the whole blue melty cup thingy. All right, we'll just give it a little while and see what it does. I'm going to take this light off. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll take a picture when I'm done and um, let you see how it dries. Um, because this light that I have on it is really kind of a, it's it's a heat lamp gizmo, so I'm not sure that it's gonna do good for drying my, I think it might dry my paint out a little too fast. 
So I'm going to cut that off and um, stop the camera and then I will come back and do some photographs for you so you can see how it turned out. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, don't use spray can paint in your styrofoam cups. <laughs> Hi. So this is the thing with the glue painting. It was nasty. It was it had so much green in it. I thought I would try to save it and I tried to record but for some reason it didn't. So what I did was I took some more of our our pinkish orangey color and I added some of that and then I really put too much on there so then I tried to run some off and that was turning worse and so I took one of my tongue depressor sticky things and I swiped it a couple times I wiggled out some trees I poured a little off and I will show you the end result of all that insanity and it is dry now um sorry didn't mean to stick my hand in your face so it's dry Pretty much it's got some oil film on it from let me see if I can turn this camera around because you know I'm technologically retarded no I guess not okay so anyway I'll see if you can see it let me back up uh, this is hard to do when you okay so there we have it and I I swipe this bottom part this way and I swiped this going up and then I poured it off and let it drain that way and I took some uh, tongue depressor sticks and I just dragged it through to give it a little bit of tree focus here and um, actually it turned out pretty it turned out okay so well, let's just get a good look at it and it almost looks like it has waterfalls it's really quite pretty. So for a gluey, nasty, icky mess, it did okay. And I'll put some epoxy on it and give you a picture later. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe and share. And um, come see me again soon. Bye.